In this video, you will learn to compute one-way ANOVA tests in StatCrunch. The data set I'll be using is called Telephone Holding Times. This data set comes from Statistics, the Art and Science of Learning from Data by Alan Agresti and Christine Franklin. An airline has a toll-free phone number that they use for reservations, where sometimes callers have to be placed on hold. The airline conducted a randomized experiment to determine if there was a significant difference and how long a caller would remain on hold depending on what is playing in the background. The airline randomly selected one out of every 1,000 calls to be placed on hold with either an advertisement of current promotions, with music playing, or with classical music playing. Each column contains the number of minutes that a random caller remained on the line before they hung up for each type of recorded message. To compute the appropriate ANOVA test results, under the STAT menu, I'll choose ANOVA, one way. Under Compare, there are two options. One is selected columns, and the other is values in a single column. To use values in a single column, your data table needs to be set up so all your responses are in one column and all of the unique values are in another. So in this case, I'm going to use the defaulted selected columns option because my responses are stored in separate columns. So I'm going to select all three columns, Advertisement, Muzak, and Classical, so I can compare the mean hold times for the different types of recording playing. To select all three columns, you're going to hold down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC. I'll now click Compute. The results have a table displaying the sample size for each column along with the relevant summary statistics. At the bottom of the output, there is a standard ANOVA table with an F statistic and a P value for the test. Other statistical results can be added to the ANOVA output in StatCrunch. Under the Options menu, choose Edit. This takes us back to the original window where we set up our ANOVA test. Listed under Options, there are additional output options. I'm going to select Compute Tukey HSD to create simultaneous confidence intervals for the pairwise differences between means. For the level input, I'm going to enter 0 0.90 to compute a 90% confidence interval. I'll click Compute, and at the bottom of the resulting output are the two key 90% simultaneous confidence intervals of the difference between the mean wait times for each combination of recordings played. Now let's go back under Options, Edit, and under Graphs there is a list of optional graphs provided for better understanding of the differences between the groups. I'm going to select dot plot and click compute. Now you'll notice that there are arrows. If I click the arrow to move to the right, in the next window it will display the dot plot of the observations for each group. The plot shows the data for each group and it also has a red vertical line representing the overall grand mean computed by combining the data from all of the groups.